Raise your hand if you have a to-do list. Now keep your hands up if that to-do list is so long you don't even want to look at it. As an entrepreneur, it's very common to have insanely high expectation of ourselves, hoping to achieve everything right away. This is simply not possible. To help you stay focused, get organized, and take off more items on your to-do list in less time, here are seven amazing productivity methods and tools that I personally use to help me get organized. These are either all free or have free options available for you. On top of this, to help you get productive while getting more done in less time, check out our Entrepreneur Resource Library. Inside, you'll find our No Tech Confusion resource library, books, templates, masterclasses, and a lot more. You can also find the productivity cheat sheet to help you get more productive right away. I have left more resources and tools for you in the description box down below, so make sure to check them out. Without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, the first productivity method is time blocking and scheduling. And for time blocking and scheduling, I recommend using Google Calendar. If you didn't know about time blocking, it's a technique of blocking out time slots and designating certain tasks for those times. Not just meetings, but block out times that you'll be working on specific tasks. Decide what days and hours you work, when you do your calls and meetings, and don't forget to add in buffer times. What I encourage you to do is sit down on a Sunday evening or Monday morning and work out when you'll be working in the coming week. Maybe you have a meeting on a certain day or you have to look after the kids on another day. Note them all down in your calendar so you know exactly which are the time slots you have available. These are the tasks that you need to get done and not hope to get done. There's a difference. Be realistic about whether or not you can actually get these done and consider the amount of time that it would take. Think about how much time each task will take and schedule those tasks into your Google Calendar. You can use different colors to help you organize the tasks. Try to keep it as simple as possible so you don't end up wasting time color coordinating your calendar. By time blocking and scheduling your tasks on Google Calendar, you'll be able to move things around, extend and shortening tasks, and also integrate with different apps like Zoom. This can also help to get you to understand when to focus on that specific task you have assigned yourself. I usually put in every little task or things to do inside my Google Calendar so I know exactly when I need to be doing what and know the expectations. All right, next let's talk about communication. In the beginning when I just started my company, I tried to communicate with everybody through a Facebook Messenger, then I tried using email. It became so messy and difficult to keep track of everything, continue with the different conversations and the files and tracking the process. Then we switched to Slack and it's truly a lifesaver. Slack is a cloud-based project collaboration and team messaging tool, helping teams manage communication. You can use the web browser version, desktop app, or the mobile app. You can easily communicate with your team through dedicated messaging channels, private messaging, the video and the voice call features, and also file sharing. You can also download different apps to streamline your work process. There are more than 2,000 apps for you to choose from, including Google Drive, Google Docs, Microsoft, and other apps like events and time management apps. When you're looking for a particular file or message, instead of having to dig through tons of email threads, you can simply search within Slack. You can organize a conversation based on the project and send any files or documents through the designated channels. Having all your conversations, files, and even workflows organized can truly help you with not just your own productivity, but the productivity of your whole team. Then let's talk about your browser. Do you have a lot of tabs open at the moment on your browser? Having a lot of tabs open on your computer doesn't only slow down your computer or lower your productivity level, but it can also take a significant huge amount of time to navigate around all of your tabs. This is where OneTab comes in. OneTab is a browser extension allowing you to easily convert all of your open tabs into a list for quick and convenient access without finding yourself in the case of having too many open tabs. OneTab is a great way to store, manage, and open all your saved tabs in one click. All you need to do is press on the OneTab extension on your browser and all of your tabs in that window will be put together in a folder inside OneTab. Alternatively, you can also send a single tab into OneTab. You can then organize them into different folders. With OneTab, you can save memory and reduce your tab clutter in your browser, allowing you to be more productive in your tasks through your browser activity. This extension is non-invasive and everything is stored locally. One quick tip with OneTab. If you have a few websites you always use for a particular project or you have your usual work routine, you can save them in one folder inside one tab and when you need it, open all of them with the click of a button. For example, when I work on your entrepreneur resources, I usually open up a few Google Sheets along with my website. 
I have them all organized in one folder inside one tab, so it's very easy to access them. Another productivity method is accountability. If you have a tendency to avoid tasks and put off work, it can help to have an accountability partner. This can truly increase your productivity and help you get more done in a shorter period of time. You can share your to-do list at the beginning of the day and then come back at the end of the day and understand what was accomplished and what was not. Just knowing you'll be speaking with somebody later on can help you remain productive and get a lot more done. There is a productivity tool online called Focusmate. Focusmate is a virtual co-working service that helps boost your productivity and it pairs you up with someone around the world, helping you stay accountable for a short period of time. With the pressure and knowing that someone is working at the same time as you can hold you accountable and help you work more effectively. Focusmate assigns 50 minutes video sessions for a user and another to act as a virtual co-worker. You start by chatting with each other quickly and talk about what you intend to do during the session. Then you work separately and quietly but still together. With Focusmate, you can get three sessions per week for free. For unlimited sessions, you can upgrade to Turbo for $5 per month. You can try out this tool for yourself and if you want a long-term accountability partner, you can also check out your Entrepreneur Resources Facebook group. They're motivated and hardworking entrepreneurs inside and you can find a partner to hold you accountable. All right, another productivity method is website and app blocker. Do you find yourself picking up your phone or tapping on the screen every once in a while to check if you have any notifications? And do you find yourself dragged and sucked into the online world and before you know it, you might have spent 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even an hour scrolling through Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok? To help you avoid these distractions, willpower is very important, but it's easier said than done. There are tools out there to make it easier for you. They can help block your website so you can't access them. One of the most popular tools is called Freedom. Freedom is a website and app blocker that can block anything and everything of your choice. You can choose to block the entire internet, specific websites, even desktop apps and mobile apps. You can even schedule the designated blocking times in advance with their premium features and block all of your devices at once. These are very powerful features to make sure that you stay on track. Especially for those of you that need the internet to work, it's hard to turn off the internet. You can then decide to block off the websites that might distract you or schedule in specific times when you can't use them. Freedom costs just under $3 a month for the annual plan, but you also have the option of getting the lifetime license for a one-time fee. Alternatively, there is also a free Google Chrome plugin called Stay Focus that limits the amount of time that you can spend on certain websites. Stay Focus restricts the amount of time that you can spend on time-wasting websites and once your time has been used up, you won't be able to access the websites that you have blocked. You can choose to block or allow entire websites, specific subdomains, specific paths, specific pages, and even specific type of contents like videos or games. Moving right along, we have task management. When it comes to managing and tracking your tasks, I used to keep track of everything in my notes app, on a planner, or in Google Sheets. But as my team grew and my projects became bigger, I switched and started using task management tools. Task management tools are great because you can see everything in one place, create subfolders, share with your team, assign tasks and deadlines, add notes, upload documents and files, and so much more. There are many different options out there, but I personally love using Asana. Asana is a web and mobile-based work management app that organizes your team's plans, visualizes each stage of your tasks and your deadlines. Asana helps teams meet their project deadlines and track the work process, and it works great for both small and remote organizations. I love that with Asana, you can create different stages of your projects. So you can create a project like create YouTube video. Then under that, you can create steps like create outline, film video, edit video, add description, upload, and promote. Then for each video, you can create a task code, for example, create seven productivity methods and tools video. Then as you move along the different steps, you can drag and drop this video task, assign different people, and it's very easy to visualize and stay productive throughout the entire process. Then we've got the brain dump list. This might seem straightforward, but trust me, it's definitely one of the most powerful productivity hacks I've ever used. A brain dumping list can be a notepad, a section inside your planner, the notes app on your phone, or a tool like Evernote or Notion. A brain dump list is a place where you put down your thoughts, your ideas, or reminders that popped into your head when you're busy doing something else. 
Maybe you have time blocked this session to be working on creating Instagram posts and suddenly you remember that you need to email your accountant about something. Maybe you have a moment of inspiration where you want to run a campaign or maybe you just realize you don't have any milk in the fridge and need to go get some. No matter what these thoughts might be, put them inside your brain dump list. This way you can have a peace of mind that you won't forget it so you can go back to doing that specific task that you've dedicated yourself to. Also, come back to this list at least once a day and take off the tasks, ideas, or things that you've completed or pass on to someone else. Otherwise, you might end up with a long to-do list that would likely stress you out. I'm sure there are tons and tons of different productivity methods and tools out there, but I've kept everything very simple here for you. Before you get overwhelmed and go down the rabbit hole of choosing which tool or method to use, stick with these seven productivity hacks and take things one step at a time. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these productivity methods and tools do you like the most. If you have any suggestions for us, please feel free to leave them down there as well. We have more videos, interviews, and tips and tricks on productivity and time management coming up soon, so make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.